Welcome back, folks, to more Inquisitor. <coughs> sheriff. It is the Sheriff. <coughs> Hello, Knight! I'm Jacob Coltonby, the local Sheriff. You must admit that you're coming to the town in rather troubled times. The hordes of Queenskins occupying the Moonshine Mountains can attack us any day now. Nobody knows exactly where that came from and how many of them are hiding there. It seems old legends came to life and the evil which once walked the earth has returned. Something must quickly be done about it. Duke Weinberg asked Gladsburg for reinforcements several times, but nobody listens to his pleas. They say there's a problem to the south as well and they can't spare any soldiers. Unbelievable. It seems you rushed off your feet, Sheriff. Can I help you with anything? Help me? Well, it's hard to say. You're a paladin of the Brotherhood of the Righteous, and I'm sure you have your own task, but thinking about it, I might just need your help. It concerns the soldier, Julian. He's been avoiding duty for several days, which is obviously desertion. Unless he's quickly found and punished, my men will start disappearing like ghosts. But that is the last thing I need. Could you find him and bring him back? Of course, Sheriff. I'll do what I can. Really? I'm, I'm really thankful, Knight. Didn't hope to get any help. Thanks again. Bring him to me when you find him. Of course. Can I ask you some more questions, Sheriff? Sure, go ahead, Knight. Who rules Hillbrand and the surrounding areas? Hillbrand is ruled by Duke Weinberg and the Royal Governor. His deputy is Baron Robert von Callaghan, the Royal Vice Governor. I would like to know if there are any rewards for killing monsters in Hillbrand. Duke Weinberg declared there's a reward for the head of any orc who gets to the vicinity of Hilbrand. Bring me a green-skinned scalp or head, and I'll give you cash on Barrelhead. What do you think about the crisis of the realm you've been dragged into? Well, the word is heretics are behind the crisis. They cause God to turn away from us, and so the good believers suffer for the sins of others. I'll be honest with you, Knight. If it's really so, the only thing that can solve the crisis is force. The royal power must be upheld, no matter the cost. The Inquisition is good, but it's too inefficient and slow, because it must respect laws. Give me a regiment of the Royal Army and I'll scour the realm city after city, town after town, village after village. Believe me, the crisis will be over in no time. All we need is a quick, decisive strike, and the heretics will be demoralized before they can say their false prayers. <laughs> Long story short, we need another St. Berthold Knight. What is St. Berthold's Knight? How is it possible you've never heard about St. Berthold's Knight? Holy shit! Well, it all happened in the Empire in 1215 on St. Berthold's Day. Prince Henry, an orthodox believer and heir to the throne, was supposed to marry Catherine de Valion, a daughter of the reformist King Hugo III. Prince Henry's mother wanted to prevent the wedding at any cost, so she exploited growing animosity between the orthodox believers and the reformists to initiate a huge night-long massacre in which almost 10,000 reformists were slaughtered. It was the end of the St. General's religious conciliation and the start of the schism in all faithful world. Nevertheless, it purged the empire of reformists thoroughly. What can you tell me about the orcs, Sheriff? So, you want to hear about the Greenskins, Knight? I don't know how it is with you, Knight, but I first heard about them in legends regarding old pagan kingdoms populated by inhuman races. Well, but it was a long time ago. The rumor is that the orcs were summoned by some infernal being called the Cursed Flame from the forsaken place called the Cursed Depths. God knows what it means. Anyways, they were summoned to crush a proud and powerful empire called Thrawn, which lied below the mountains, and they did their job well. They reduced the barbarian empire to ashes, and with Ron wiped out, the mysterious pagan race living there vanished as well. Well? All my life I believed it was just a legend and orcs were a myth, but this spring opened my eyes and suddenly swarmed from the depths of the moonshine mountains and attacked Asherbolt, and the iron mines slaughtering all locals. Since then they've been controlling the entire foothills of the moonshine mountains. Nobody knows where they came and why. Maybe the heretics summoned them to bring total despair to the realm. Though the sure thing is, the Hillbrand has been constantly in danger since then. The recent night attack proves it. I am looking for heretics in Hillbrand, Sheriff. You have any suspicions? To be honest, Knight, I don't suspect anyone in the town being a heretic. I'm a soldier, and I only believe things I can see. And if I see heretic threatening God or King, I kill him. It's my job. 
I've heard certain rumors about Master Elman Diavias, but I won't comment at it. I haven't seen him doing anything bad. As far as I know, he's a man who destroyed good many hellspawns. I don't think he would be a demon hunter and a demon servant at the same time. Do you happen to know anything about the disappearance of Bishop Quinton? I'm sorry, Knight, but I don't know anything about the disappearance of Bishop Quinton. He disappeared the night when the orcs attacked the town. Nobody has seen them since. Well, if it were up to me, I'd add him to casualties of the orcs, but Father Dominicus won't allow. He's probably waiting for the body to be found. Well, I doubt it will be found. As far as I know, orcs are cannibals who eat their fallen foes. Do you know anything about the death of the merchant Kurth Olmier? Well, it's a tricky case. That merchant Olmier, I can't deny it. We had to draw on the case because there was little evidence. All in all, it was a dead end. It happened some time ago. One morning, innkeeper Truthorn rushed into my office. He could barely catch his breath and dragged me to the attic of his pub. Kurt Olmier was renting it. The merchant was lying on the bed. He looked very fucking dead. Well, I immediately knew that he was dead. There was blood all around. Real slaughter. The murderer cut his throat and stuffed his mouth with his privates. You know, his cock. Not a very nice sight. Do you suspect? If I've had one, I wouldn't hesitate to bust a believe me night. But there were no leads to help us in the investigation. The murderer entered the room, killed the merchant, and then left without being noticed. No witnesses. No traces. What can you tell me about the merchant himself? He was kind of weird. Well... He was not the much of a merchant. You could say he was an adventurer, a treasure hunter, and profiteer. We had the goods which couldn't be brought into normal shops. Various artifacts from pagan times which he dug up in ancient runes and tombs. Potions which normal alchemists can brew. Maps of places nobody heard of, and other things like that. To be honest, I'm not surprised that he did not die a natural death. People like him usually die violently. Thank you. Are there any tales or legends connecting to Hillbrand or its surroundings? Since I was a little boy, I've been hearing legends about pagan treasure, which was thought to be buried in the foothills of the Moonshine Mountains, somewhere near Dragon Rock. People say it was hidden there by barbarians 400 years ago. When they were fleeing through Hillbrandt back to the north, the barbarian wars were almost over then, and Duke Wellery's cavalry caught up with the shattered fleeing barbarian hordes and massacred them. But before they were destroyed, they managed to bury their treasure, which have been hidden there since. It's rumored that the treasure is invaluable and well hidden. Moreover, supposedly, there's a terrible pagan curse guarding it. Has something unusual happened to Hillbrent lately, besides penises and mouths and orcs raiding the town? Lots of shit's happened, so I don't know where to tell you first. Well, probably the worst thing befell Hillbrent was the night attack of the Greenskins. They managed either some ploy or betrayal to get inside town. Hell broke loose. It was a terrible bloodbath. I lost almost a quarter of my men before we managed to push them back behind the walls. Well, to be honest, I don't think that was the main attack. I have a feeling there are many more hiding beneath the mountains. I think they're waiting for something. And that attack was just a harbinger of terrors to come. Anyways, they mustn't get into the town again. We can hold them behind the wall for quite some time. What monsters may I come across here, Sheriff? You would know better than anyone. Hillbrandt is nowadays surrounded by hordes of infernal vermin night. Since the Star of Doom appeared in the sky, there has been too many damn bastards crawling from the bowels of the earth. But to tell the truth, Knight, orcs are most frightening of them all, green skins. I don't know if you already heard about them. The infernal fiends have appeared in the early spring in the Moonshine Mountains. Nobody knows through what hellholes they got there. Before anyone could react, they ransacked entire mining village Ashenwald, including nearby iron mines. And to make it even worse, it seems the orcs have settled there to do some mischief. Because since they got into the mines, a thick black smoke has been fuming from the bowels of the mountains. They raid the entire region, so we're almost cut off from the rest of the realm. No merchant dares to travel to town. I'm afraid they'll swarm the front of the walls and storm us, as they did one night several days back. But this time, there'll be a hundred four more of those bastards. That's all. Farewell. Have we already killed them all night? Are they all stone dead? About whom are you talking, soldier? About the house bonds, of course. About whom else? What other asset would the Brotherhood of Righteous have to town? I sincerely believe that you'll soon get rid of all the monsters our military chaplain keeps preaching about. Yes, I will. Then I'll come back and destroy you. I will kill this dog if it comes near me. No one in jail? How disappointing.
Hello, knight. I tell you straight, be careful behind the walls. There are swarms of monsters who'd rip your head off before you could say amen. Orcs, trolls, half-ogres, giant spiders, giant bats, and maws full of dagger-like teeth. I can't help myself not to tremble in fear. Yes, you're right. Farewell. You little bitch. I'm afraid those orcs will attack us again soon, knight. Who can know how it's going to end this time? Can you feel the ground trembling? I bet the green owls are up to something in their caves. On this side of the moonshine mountains. Calm down, good man. Everything will be all right. I'd love to be calm like you, knight. I hope you're right. I'm afraid those orcs will attack us against you, knight. Who can know how it's going to end the time? Can you feel the ground trembling? I bet the green owls are up to something in the caves under the Moonflame Mountains. Calm down, good man. Stop being such a little bitch. I'd love to be calm like you, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of why I don't talk to non-named characters. They're kind of useless. And since I'll be reading every single line of usable dialogue, which means if I asked... 10 people in the town what kind of monsters are surrounding the village I'm not going to necessarily ask all 20 because I'll probably get the same answer over and over <laughs> hello knight I've been waiting for you so long you're the paladin who's recently arrived and Hilbrandt taught you yes that's me why are you waiting for me because I'm going to kill you, that's why. I got paid rather handsomely to help you out of this world, and I'm going to take care of it now. <laughs> Attacking a paladin of the Brotherhood of Righteous is the most serious crime. For that, I declare your life forfeit. <laughs> down like a little bitch. At first I didn't know who was attacking me. I seen all these cards running at me. I was like, oh me. I could be in trouble here, folks. My good man left me behind some unidentified leather armor. durability. That's probably why it's not functioning that great. Guess I should look at things like that, huh? This is blacksmithing skill. I know mine sucks, but... Maybe I can use it here. Saber cannot be repaired. Oh, of course it can't because I did it right the first time. 26 out of 26 durability. Boom shakalaka on the blacksmith, Ron Stock Long Shinks. Hello, the one home. All right. Next hobble, please. officer here. Uh-oh. A beautiful female. Well, only a commoner. Why did they not send us reinforcements from Gladsberg? We are so small an army that there will 
only be able to resist if the Hellspawns would attack us all at once. I'm sure reinforcements will arrive soon. Really? In that case, my prayers were answered. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to use the same two female voices for all my female characters. Um, because my range on feminine voices is quite limited. And they tend to sound like uh, male child molesters anyways. Maybe if I was born with a more nasally faggish voice, I would have done better with the females, but un unfortunately I wasn't. Victor Hammerhand! Welcome, Knight! I am Victor Hammerhand, the town blacksmith. If you need some weapons, or maybe an armor, come to me. I have the best goods you can get in this godforsaken part of the realm. What do you sell, Master Blacksmith? I've already said you get all weapons and armors I can produce. Daggers, swords, axes, bows. Oh my, everything you can imagine. To tell the truth, I'm no match for the blacksmith workshops in the east. But as for the weapons and armor you can find here in Hillbrand, my products belong to the best goods all around. Glad to meet you. Can I talk to you? Of course, Knight, but first there's something I'd like to ask you for. Do you think you could spare some of your time? Of course. What's on your mind? It's about my son, Paul, Knight. You know... He isn't a bad boy. He's quite wild and short-tempered, that's true. Often he's stubborn and no one can convince him to do something. But he's a good boy in the core. Perhaps it's my fault. I didn't spend enough time with him. There was too much work around the anvil. His mother died when he was a little child and I didn't have enough time for him. He learned to take care of himself. He rambles around the town quite often. Maybe that's why some people think he's so bad. However, he wouldn't hurt anyone. I'd put my own hand in the fire if he ever did. Where's the problem, Master Blacksmith? You know, we had a quarrel some time ago and he ran from home. This isn't the first time he did so, but he always returned soon. This time he did it. I fear for him. I tried convincing Sheriff Contenberry to help me, but he doesn't want to hear anything like that. He said there's enough trouble in town, so he can't let soldiers look for the town merchant who ran from his home into the neighborhood. I understand. I'll look for him, Master Blacksmith. I would reward you, of course, if you could find him, Knight. You can believe me. I'd like to exchange some goody-goody gumdrops. Holy moly, I want the better chainmail. I need the better skill, though. Oh, Jesus. Journeyman's pavice of divine grace. All right, well, we could sell some stuff. Another armor of constitution. Well, that's sweet. So we'll sell that. Sell that. A deadly dagger. can repair that and maybe get some money for it. So let's put the blacksmithing to use here. Alright, as soon as I... So we're going to go from our padded armor, 50 durability armor class 6, to our leather armor constitution, which is pretty nice. Better armor, better durability. Does need to get a repair here soon. I'm going to have to make sure I stay on top of my blacksmithing. That's going to come into place. Come into play here.
have no idea why I'm not blacksmithing now. Ah! I hate learning about games. I want to know it all from the beginning. Let's go ahead and sell the padded armor, anyways. I'm not going to pay you to do it. I should be able to do it myself. I'm not going to identify the arrows yet. Oh, let's talk to the cow. Sam Ryman. What do you want here, knight? I don't think you invited you to visit me. I've heard about you. You're a paladin of the Brotherhood of Righteous, aren't you? In that case, I hope you'll establish justice and help all the sinners to get where they should. To hell! Your concern for justice is admirable, good man. I'm a humble servant of God. I've lived almost my entire life, and I've never seen so much atrocity and disgust as during the last few years. People I thought to believe firmly all life turned into heretics before my eyes. They are worshipping the worst that's located in the entrails of hell, and nobody does anything about it. It's awful. Who are you, good man? My name is Sam Ryman. If you're interested in that, I'm a stonemason. If you need a gravestone, anyone around is better than no one around is better than me. You can look for inspiration at the town cemetery. Uh we'll see. Maybe later. I'm never too soon for something like that, Knight. You never know when some heretic will send you to him before your time, and there's plenty of them lately. Do you suspect anyone particular, good man? Yes, that's what I do. And it's not only a suspicion I found out that Master Edmund Diavis is a heretic who sold his soul to Satan and started to plot with Hellspots. Why do you think so? Exactly. I know. Maybe it seems strange to you, but I know what I've seen, Master Diavius is a heretic. It's happened that night when those damn greenskins got into town. I was on my way back from the pub when I heard the sound of a fight from the upper gate. The sound was coming here quickly. I panicked and hid in the ruins of an abandoned house. From there I could see the street leading to the church well, and I saw a bunch of greenskins coming. I was completely dumbfounded for a moment, and just when they were passing by my hideout, Mr. Edmund Diavius came out from the dock. It seemed like he was going to fight them. I saw him wielding his sword before. As for me, he's one of the best swordsmen in the realm. And what happened then? Nothing. Nothing happened at all. I thought there'd be a terrible fight, but the orcs just stopped and waited. Master Diavius came to them, told them something, pointed at the church, and the orcs ran that way, howling wildly. The master himself quickly looked around, while someone's watching him, and disappeared into the dark. Can you swear that what you have said is true? I cross my heart with that I've testified was true and nothing else, Knight. Can I talk to you for a moment? Do you suspect anyone in the town of Heresy, except for Master Diavius, of course? To tell you the truth, Knight, I have one more suspicion, but I don't know if I should talk about it because the suspected person is a child, but he's possessed by dark powers, no doubt. Children are under God's protection, good man. They can be prosecuted only under exceptional circumstances. If there are many affirmative proofs against them, they can't be questioned with the help of torture, and they can be judged only to a lifelong stay in a monastery, to mere strictus. I thought it's like that, that the infernal whelp knows very well that justice doesn't apply to him, and that the law is no match for him so he can perform awful goings on without fear for his life. It's really a nice justice if I can tell you that. Who are you talking about, good man? talking about why is my game exiting? I'm talking about Paul Hammerhand. Ask the people in town. They'll confirm my words. The boy is a downright devil. Founded by the powers of hell since childhood. His father and he's an older man is no match for him at all. He's rebellious and runs away from home to look around the city for days doing God knows what. He wants that confession all year and he's avoiding the church like the devil keeps away from the Holy Cross. He lies, renounces and steals everything he runs into. I tell you, Knight, although he's a child, Hill hell devoured him long ago.
Do you know anything about the disappearance of Bishop Quintinus? What should I know about the missing Bishop Quintinus? He's probably killed when the orcs attacked the town. Do you know anything about Paul Hammerhand being missing? If I were you, Knight, I wouldn't look for that hellspawn Paul Hammerhand. Surely he's back in hell from where he came from. Dark powers possessed him, I'm sure about it. Probably he did some devilish things again and broke his neck somewhere. Do you have any idea where soldier Julian could be hiding? How should I know where that dandy Julian could be? Probably be on his way south. Maybe he believes he'll find a better fate there. What a fool. Do you know anything about the death of merchant Kurth Olimier? Why should I know anything about the death of Kurth? I'm not interested in such things. Ask someone else. Wait, you really don't know anything about it? It happened not too long ago. You are strangely suspicious. Well, I've heard something to tell the truth. His throat was cut here in town, and truth on Stavern. He went to the room in the attic. That's all I know about the matter. Tell me once more what you saw that night when the orcs attacked the town. And it looks like he says the same thing. I was hoping I could catch him in a lie, but it doesn't look like that's happening. That's pretty much all the new dialogue that's non-repeatable. Alright, as far as under our proofs here, we have that Thomas Raydorf affirmed he had seen with his own eyes Edmund D. Arvias secretly letting the orcs. And Sam Raman swear that he had seen Edmund commanding the orcs. So far, not a good case for Mr. Edmund. Two eyewitnesses. But who knows? They could be liars. Lottie Frank Miller. Hail to you, good woman. Hello, Knight. Welcome to the house of Duke Weinberg. Our naughty Frank Muller has made. What can I do for you? You look a bit sad. Has anything bad happened to you? Pardon? No, I'm all right. Leave me alone, do you understand? Mind your own business. Be careful, girl. You won't talk to me like that. Do you know who I am? Ah, uh, ah, uh, I'm sorry. I had no right to shout at you like that. It's because hard times are weighing on us so heavily. Let us hope that good times will return soon. That's right. Could I talk to you for a moment? Talk to me, you? About what? I don't know much. Master Edmund Diavaris is expected of heresy. What do you think about it? I've heard that Master Edmund Diavaris is suspected of letting orcs into the town before their recent attack. But I can't tell you for sure. I was locked in my room the whole evening. I didn't see anyone. Do you know anything about the death of Merchant Kurth Olmier? I don't know anything about the murder of Kurth Knight, only that it happened in the attic of Truthorn's Tavern, where the merchant had a room ready. People say some lecherous succubus killed him because he was found with his own well, cock in his mouth. Are there any tales or legends connected to Hildrant or its surroundings? People say there's a piece of rock near the scaffold called Death Stone. The lament of tortured souls of sinners struck by divine justice for their terrible deeds is said to be heard from the stone. I'm searching for heretics here in Hildebrand. Do you suspect anyone? I'm afraid I don't know any heretics, Knight. I'm sorry. What do you think of the crisis spreading throughout the realms? I don't know much about the crisis. I'm just a simple maid. It must be a terrible disaster because the Duke seems very troubled. Has something unusual happened here in Hildebrand lately? Bishop Quintinius has disappeared. That terrible attack of the orcs are down. Sorry to hear it. He was a very good man. Who rules Hilbrandt and the surrounding areas? I took Weinberg, of course. The royal governor of the town. Bern Robert von Kyle is the royal vice governor, although one who makes decisions in this fact. His wife, Linda. Let's see if the Duke is home. No, but his dog is. Oh, there he is. Welcome to Hellrant Knight. I am Duke Weinberg, the royal governor of the town. I'm really glad the Brotherhood of Righteous strengthens its ranks in Hillbrandt. I hope it'll help bring more safety into town and to solve all the crimes Judge Valerian and his inquisitors came to investigate more quickly. 
A few years ago, I wouldn't be able to imagine in my wildest dreams that something that bad could happen in my domain. Nevertheless, now when it seems the entire realm is on the brink of destruction, it doesn't surprise me that much. Why should Hildebrand to be spared of the rampage of heretics and pagans? I'm sure you must be busy these days. Anything I can help you with? I've been wrestling with many difficulties here in Hildebrand lately, Knight. Believe me, nothing's ever easy here. The less it is now, the scourge of the gods has struck. The greatest danger is this darn green.